What up, folks? I'm back once again doing another video game review, and I'm reviewing Streets of Rage for Sega Genesis. And this is um, the first game to be, to be released on the Sega Genesis, and it was um, the answer to uh, the Final Fight game stage that was released on the um, Super Nintendo. And this is pretty much like other um, being a month from the late 80s and early 90s, a pretty much a two-player co-op. And, and the uh, plot behind this particular game is that there was a serious crime uh, wave that, that affected this, this particular city. And it was and this one criminal organization called the Syndicate was behind behind it, and it was led by Mr. X, which is pretty much a very cliche uh, name for the boss. And three uh, three people: uh, Axel, Stone, Blaze, Fielding, and Adam Hunter are all. Um, are on a mission to stop Mr. X and the Syndicate, and along with the um, crime wave that they were causing. And this, and this particular game has um, eight stages to it, where you um, where you fight different thugs through through the course of the game, and of course you pretty much deal with a, an end level boss at each stage. And you pretty much, um, after you defeat the boss, you get um, some bonus points based off of uh, the time that was left, your health, and the um, and the di and the difficulty setting. And with the options, you can set the um, difficulty to either easy, normal, or hard. You can set the number of lives you have by um, up to seven, I believe. And every extra life you get is you, is when you earn around twenty to thirty thousand points or something like that. And of course, you pretty much can use different um, like weapons against the enemies, like um, knives, lead pipes, and bats. But one one thing about these um, weapons that they they don't like last long. You, you hit the um, Hit a particular thug with a, like a baseball bat, like um, like four or five times, and once you hit it, hit them the, the, the last time, you, you can't use it no more. And, and then there's the uh, you can get like health throughout the course of the game, like uh, apples and uh, roast beef and stuff like that. And and pretty much the street, streets of race is good for um, giving you like. Food and um, weapons throughout the game, and I do believe this: and that how much, how many weapons you find, and how much health you can find is based on the difficulty setting you you set it on. It's like if you set it to easy, you pretty much get you go run into different a lot more. You go run into different weapons and health pretty much throughout the course of the game. But if you set it up to one of the higher difficulty settings, they're gonna be a, a lot more scarce. I, I believe more so with the food than the uh, weapons. Plus, Axel Stone, Blaze, uh, Fielding, and Adam Hunter is pretty much got their own um, got their own uh, um, fighting uh, styles. It's Pretty, nah, it is pretty similar to um, Final Fight in that regard. Like, nah, I do believe that all three of them have studied a different brand of martial arts. So, it, 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 that explains why all three of them have different types of punches, kicks, and throws. And plus, all of them have like this um, special like move or whatever where once you press like A, the camera will go back to a certain spot. You'll see some. You'll see a police car show up and they um 
somebody shoots a rocket launcher and then once it hits the ground or where you're at, it'll take out all the enemies on the screen. It, and it seemed like, uh, maybe it seems like it to me, it seemed like it don't take long to um, take out a certain a thug. I'm not talking this would exclude the bosses. It take like um, two or three hits to take out the, the average thugs in, in the streets of rage. But of course, the main draw is the um, is the two player mode. And let's let's, let's be honest. A lot of pretty much beat 'em ups are more fun when you have somebody playing with you. And Streets of Rage is no different. And the, as far as the graphics and the level design, it is pretty good. They are pretty good, especially with the fact that it has very nice color palettes and is and the game is drawn very good. And the controls are um, pretty good from an overall standpoint. Just that it's kind of clunky. You know, so that's really like the only complaint I do have, but it's, rel it's relatively minor. And the street, uh, the soundtrack to Streets of Race is pretty good, and it does fit the, um, and it does fit the game from an overall standpoint. The one thing I do like about Streets of Race, and it's standing on its own two legs, and it's not a carbon copy of, of the Final Fight series. Of course, because of the, the popularity of this particular game, Streets of Rage spawned a couple of sequels on the, on the Genesis. Now, this uh, Final Fight is a very cla is a classic game, and I would honestly recommend it to anybody who's a fan of the beat 'em up genre, <coughs> or they're pretty much a retro gamer. Uh, either way, this is a good game that's worth playing, in my opinion. And I, if I was to make a, um, a list of the 25 best Genesis games of all time, Streets of Race would show up on, on this list. It would be, like, I don't know, like number three or four, whatever the case. But anyway, I would, it will be on, on my list of best uh, Genesis games. As far as the score is concerned, I would definitely give it a nine. Mainly because this is, in my opinion, one of the pretty much the best um, beat 'em up game on on the Genesis. Now, with that being said, if you like Final Fight or it happen to be one of your um, best, happen to be the, your best game, favorite game of all time, you can mention it in the comment section. If you like this review of Streets of Rage, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metro Fan 12 signing off.